Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest tutorial. This is how to make a miniature house model out of foam board and a few other materials. I'll show you the tips and techniques and the general building process. I won't cover everything because this is about 100 hours worth of work, but it comes out really, really nice. And does it look like a, the real house? It sure does. I like it. could use this in an animation. I'm thinking about using it in an animation. So, and I also, just for fun, I also added lights to it. For a nighttime use, see? There's um, lights on the porches, and there's also a light inside the building to shine through whichever windows are um, open or un uncovered. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is, if you're going to be doing an actual house, is take a lot of pictures of it. Um, it's important from every angle you can think of, and any unusual details. Um, we actually took a lot of different pictures, because you've got to come up with a scale that you want to build your model in. So, and do a lot of measurements. So see, like right here, this angle here on the porch, we wanted to figure out that angle. And um, we started drawing things out, and then figured out the size we wanted it, and then we, we could know from there the size of everything to make. And the scale is about almost uh, 22 to 1. See a little bit of mathematics there with the calculator to get everything right. And uh, what I'm going to do is, um, see, and then we built a, an open shell. That's the actual house there. But it isn't square like that, so there's going to be a lot of changes that we're going to make. But that's the footprint of the house and the, the rough size of it. So what we could do on the flat sides is cut out the windows and then look now build in the various architectural features like this with foam board, just all foam board. And then tape them in to get it just right and it takes time. So what I'm going to do is now you build the whole house out of foam board like that just piece by piece following your, the, your plans that you made with all the measurements and everything. But I'm going to show you a little bit here about how we actually get it looking like a house. So let's take this one piece here of foam board and we're going to follow it through the whole process. And see this, that um, it's almost like a corrugated material? That is dollhouse um, siding. So you can buy that in different sizes, or different widths, or different thicknesses. And um, I, I bought a whole bunch of it and we used it to side the house just like it was vinyl siding. Um, cut it to um, the shapes needed and glued them onto the foam board. So you build the whole thing pretty much out of foam board and then you start to cover it with all the various architectural features just like they would with a real house. You know, they'd build it out of wood and then they'd put vinyl siding on it or they'd put the shingles on it. And then once the shingles were on, um, uh, the siding painted it. And I took a chip to the Home Depot and had them color match it. And I got a quart of that paint of the same color as the actual house. So we can't ended up with the same colored house. So now, windows and doors. We get lots of windows and doors, and they have to be treated, so we use thin plastic to make molding for everything like this, see? Folded it origami style into like a little channel, a little U-shape, and measured it. And you can do this with paper too, some kind of a thick, durable paper. But pretty much framed all the windows and the doors, and you know, there's other framing to do, and I'll show you a little bit of that too. But doesn't that look good? So I'll go over a little bit more of uh, some more materials for you here. And then painted it. And now this, uh, one of the things I like about this little piece here is it has almost everything in it, including window and a door. So, and those uh, were made out of balsa wood. So there's the, um, the window, just little pieces of balsa wood measured and cut to insert into the opening in the wall. And the same thing with a piece of balsa wood for the door. So the big thing about something like this is um, if you get your sizes right, because you measured as much as you could, and then you get your scale right, um, you're off to a good start, and then from there it's just a matter of 
getting the different details right and using the right materials, which aren't a whole lot of different materials for, for this house. But there you go. Little door, little window, vinyl siding, painted, all ready, ready to go. And of course, there's curtains, and that's just felt. Let's take a look. There we go. Curtains on the windows. <laughs> All right, so a couple more things. Now, there's some more um, foam board to make the various um, features like that, and it's just a matter of cutting and measuring and then hot gluing together to see to get that, which was a difficult little spot there, that where the bay windows are. And there's a few more pieces we could look, we're looking at. So you just keep making pieces uh, gluing the foam board together and then adding your vinyl siding now and now let's take a look at the porch which is a little bit different add the shingles cut the porch add the shingles add some trellis work some stairs out of balsa wood so we've actually only used half a dozen materials for the whole thing I and mean, it's just a matter of how you use them and that look good once it's done paint it up and there you go the, the porch needs the roof but that's now it's stained and it looks real. So the shingles, you also can buy these. These are dollhouse shingles and they come in a lot of different sizes and you just pattern them in strips and glue them together and place them just like that. And look at that on top of the porch. Doesn't that look like a real house? So now it's a matter of, you know, putting things together. And putting the roof on it which is all more of the same. And that's that. So we can't just have it like this sitting on a piece of uh, pink foam like that. So I ended up um, landscaping it and using diorama techniques to make the landscape. The yard, the grass, and the stuff like that. It's kind of kind of neat. And I put um, lights in the porches and, a, and one light inside the building. Hey, maybe um, I'll you know do the inside, but there you go, it's all done, it looks good. If you want to make a miniature house, you can do it. You don't need a whole lot of supplies. You just need to know what supplies, and you got to take your time with it all. Does it look like the real one? I think it does. Now you get the camera angle right. Uh, let's take a look at a couple more videos of mine that you might want to watch. Thanks for watching this video.